guys, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me. And today is the Saturday check-in. It is the Saturday, February 6th. Sorry, I didn't do a Wednesday check-in. Um, I just had a lot going on on Wednesday. Was spending time with my niece. Um, she's in the process of learning how to drive, and so... Um, when we do our little drive time sessions, it also turns into therapy for the both of us. And um, I didn't realize that it was Wednesday until it was like 7.45 at night and I just decided, you know what, I don't need to do a Wednesday check-in. <laughs> um, and today, I'm emotionally drained. Uh, last night was super freaking stressful. I have a shit ton of other stress going on right now in my life. Um, stuff that I don't feel comfortable talking about on camera. So, you know, it's kind of big if I'm not saying it on camera. And, um, so to add to that stress, um, my cat last night I think she had a seizure. Well, actually two seizures. Um, she was just acting really, really weird. And um, was laying there watching TV and she was laying next to me and then all of a sudden she just like bolts up and turns around and falls down and then flies across the side of the bed and lands on the floor by my television and her back leg is just stretched out as far as it could go and I got up and I'm like honey are you okay are you okay and I went to like pet her or whatever and she like started backing away or whatever and like kind of flopping a little bit and I just grabbed her by the back of the neck and I held her up like close to me with both arms wrapped around her thinking that you know if she is having a seizure that it's better to hold her in place than let her thrash around or whatever. And like, she scratched me up pretty good. Um, like, her her nails actually went in right here. And like, yeah, so. And I'm eating red vine licorice right now. My favorite licorice in the whole universe. Um, my blood sugar's low and I got a whole bunch of red vines because they were on sale for 25 cents so I picked up four boxes um so yeah I cried so hard yesterday that I was actually having chest pains from it and um I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do a, the video today um she's acting n normal today and she's up walking around and eating and playing and like when I scratch her back and stuff she turns around she licks me like she normally would um, so she's showing all the same signs as having um, like she was before like just being normal um, she's still a little off but for the most part like 95% normal um, so I don't know hopefully she's she's gonna be okay um, I made packs with every god known and forgotten to man that she'd be okay and <clears throat> I'm just I'm drained guys you know they say when it rains it pours Ugh. I didn't even have a chance to build a boat for this torrential downpour of bullshit that just happened and I know that it's the mercury retrograde and I tried to ignore it and I tried to push past it and all this other shit but god it kicked me in the balls, and while I was down crying, it just freaking flamenco danced on me. 
and I I'm sorry if anyone else is going through some shit because I know what I'm going through right now is not fun and I I just don't know um anyways um going on from there I had a um podiatrist appointment for my foot because I've been having a lot of pain in like this area of my foot and um, so like if this was the top of my foot right here is the pain that I'm having and my doctor um, he wants me to go have um, an ultrasound done on the on my foot to make sure that there's not like a ganglion cyst or anything right there that's making that pain happen because just touching it barely with his thumb hurt really bad and he's like yeah let's go get that taken a look at and so um I don't know if I said anything in um last Saturday's video but um I had to go and have um I had to go see a urologist at a whole different hospital and so this really pissed me off but I had to go to another hospital 40-45 miles away I get there and like before I even get there my my appointment was at 11 and I did everything that I could to make it there by 11 but that morning everything just kind of like fell apart I got up early I took my shower I did all the preparation that I needed to do went to go outside to get into the car and had to go to the bathroom again and this is at like 9 15 after I'm done going to the restroom and getting all cleaned up it's now 9 30 and it's like a 45 minute to an hour drive away from where I had to go so I had to stop and get gas because I didn't get gas the night before because didn't have the money to do so money got deposited that morning or sometime between midnight and uh, 6 a.m. went got gas it's now 10 o'clock and I'm like what the freaking hell so I call the doctor's office up tell them what's going on they bump my appointment up to 11 45 12 o'clock so I get there in record time it seems like like I could have just went to the doctor's office or to my appointment at its regularly scheduled time but that didn't happen so um Anyways, get in there, get all checked in, do all the new patient paperwork or whatever. Five to ten fucking minutes with this doctor. For him to tell me, okay, well, I'm going to order another CT scan. So, go back to the hospital that sent you here, get your CT scan done over there, and then we can see you at my clinic that's actually... 30 miles closer to you actually it's not 30 miles it's like 20 mile 20 25 miles to that clinic 45 miles to his other clinic I'm like you had a clinic that was literally a half an hour away from me and you sent me out to this one you bastard <laughs> so that happened so I now have back-to-back -back appointments for like the next week or so uh, this coming Wednesday I have to go to the clinic that is closer to me so that he can tell me about the kidney stone that I have and talk about other issues and tell me if the pain in my back and stuff is related to that because apparently it could become desensitized and all this other stuff uh, hoo -hoo -da. so I gotta go do that then I gotta go down to imaging <sighs> <clears throat> excuse me I gotta go to imaging get the ultrasound down on my foot and then I gotta go do my grocery shopping for the month and 
Before I do all of that, though, that morning, I have to drive into town, get my niece, and then go do all this. So, yeah, it's going to be busy and just super freaking stressful. And everything else on top of it. But, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm just emotionally drained, if you can't tell right now. Um, what should have been a quick, fast video has now draw, drawn itself out for almost 11 minutes and I'm sorry about that and yes the Christmas tree is still up and yes it is the 6th of February and have no idea when it's coming down uh, I might take it down in March who knows <laughs> or I might just leave it up until next December but either way it's making me happy and I've driven around and seen like tons of other people with their Christmas trees and Christmas decor still up so I really don't feel all that bad but for now it is what it is um, I'm not usually a ask for prayers type of person but you know if you feel it necessary to do so or whatever um, sending some good positive energy for things to like flow smoothly and for everything to just get back on track for me that would be awesome um but you know what if you're not the praying type or whatever just sending me positive thoughts and vibes or what that would be awesome too um so anyways thank you guys for everything sorry about wednesday um but here it is I was just too much of an emotional wreck over the last couple of days. Last night was really difficult for me. Thankfully, she's doing a lot better today. Um, you can even see in the picture that my face looks really puffy right now, and I just noticed it. So, <laughs> so it's probably from me crying. So, anyways, yeah. Um, love you guys. Thank you for everything, and uh, you know the drill. Comment, like, con and put your comments, and cons questions, comments, concerns in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, check out hellocupkeygetsme.com, and follow on social media, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.